the small town of Paradise, California, where these children lived with their parents in a fundamentalist Christian home. For the nine children, life in Paradise was anything but. We cover up eight of their faces because they are the survivors. Survivors of a violent form of discipline practiced by their parents, Kevin and Elizabeth Schatz. The one face not covered is their seven-year-old adopted daughter, Lydia. She was killed by her parents. Violated section 273A, B. They pleaded guilty to killing Lydia and seriously injuring her 11-year-old sister, Zariah, who almost died. Authorities say Kevin and Elizabeth Schatz beat their children regularly because they believed God wanted them to. The district attorney says the shots believed to spare the, the rod will spoil the child and if you can train your horse and you can train your dog you can train your children seven-year-old Lydia suffered terribly supposedly in the name of God but authorities say this was torture and murder by parents who were supposed to love and cherish their child inside this house they found important evidence the so-called biblical rods that the shots had inside what they were were 15-inch long plumbing supply tubes used to beat the children. And also important, a book was found inside. A book that appeared to light the fuse to the deadly brutality. The book is called To Train Up a Child. Its author is this man on the tractor, Michael Pearl, and his wife Debbie. They consider themselves observant Christians who run an organization called No Greater Joy Ministries from their Tennessee farm. Well, I I'm a preacher, minister of the gospel. Their book and others they've written stacked in a warehouse on their farm. All of them guided, they say, by the teachings in the Bible. Uh, and it says that if you spare the rod, you hate your child. But if you love him, you chasten him timely. A rod, according to the Pearl's Manual on Training Children, could be anything from a tree switch to a spatula. In the book, they describe a rod as a magic wand. God would not have commanded parents to use the rod if it were not good for the child. But look at the body of Zariah, the daughter who was seriously injured by her parents. These are just some of her wounds. Other wounds and bruises on her body and on the body of her sister Lydia, who died, are far too graphic for us to show. Lydia was so severely beaten she died of a condition usually associated with earthquakes and bombings. What do you think influenced the Schatzes to beat, terrorize, and torment the children? Like uh, the, the book by Mr. Pearl. Uh, there's, there's no doubt about that. Lydia was beaten for seven continuous hours, interrupted by short prayer breaks on the day she died. The sound of the police siren was recorded by a Paradise police officer racing to the house. When he arrived, he tried to save Lydia with CPR, with both of the parents present. She's uh, swallowed a lot of vomit. She was like really tired, and her vision was blurry. Come on, baby. And listen later in the day to the seriously injured Zariah. I believe it's just on the arm. On my bottom and on my back. Like, it's like underneath my feet. Underneath your feet? At the sentencing hearing, 11-year-old Zariah, who was still recovering from her serious injuries, had the courage to address her parents in open court about her deceased sister. She said, why did you adopt her? To kill her? It's a heartbreaking story. Kevin pleaded guilty to murder and torture and will be in jail for at least 22 years and Elizabeth for at least 12.